You know, one of the funny things about having written The Glass Castle and talking to readers and listeners about it is how many people are so removed from their past. You know, I think a lot of us have these sort of secret pasts and we think we're worlds away from it, but you're never truly, you never truly escape your past. So I may seem worlds away from where I grew up, but we carry these things around with us. And I think it's incredibly therapeutic to confront that past. I thought I'd sort of reinvented myself by coming to New York and becoming this snazzy gossip columnist. But by sitting down and telling my story and telling the truth, I really came to terms with who I was. It's funny when I talk to readers and listeners because different people get different things out of The Glass Castle and out of Half Broke Horses. I one time heard somebody reading The Glass Castle and she read it with real anger. And that's not an inaccurate reading, but it's not the way I would have read it. Some people after they've heard me talking about the book, they say, wow, I now understand the book differently. If you can truly be honest and open and make a connection with the reader or the listener, then I think that that's what really matters. I think that that's what people are looking for in a memoir, this emotionally honest experience. And so that's what I'm trying my best to do in, in reading the story is to just be honest and reconnect with the little girl that I was. When I'm reading my own story, my own words, sometimes it's a little weird for me to, to think of myself as this this little confused girl with these wacky parents who is just trying to figure the world out. You sort of transport yourself back to that world and relive it. While recording The Glass Castle and Half Broke Horses, I, I think that the funniest thing is how hard it is. I don't, I don't want to sound like I'm complaining. It's not difficult, but it, there's all these things that you don't realize, like your stomach grumbling. <laughs> <laughs> these noises you realize that you don't make. It's also sort of, um, it's, a, it's a fascinating process to sort of relive it and, and to sit down and, and try to present your words in a way that you want your listeners to hear. It's a lot less polished than when a professional actor or actress does it. It's a lot less polished, a little bit rougher, but I think it's more authentic. And I believe that that's very often uh, a trade-off that listeners are willing to make.